The movie commences with two men, Leland Jones and William Orser, emerging from their room within a tranquil rural motor court motel nestled in the heart of the USA Midwest. Their partnership appears unusual due to their significant age difference, Leland is over 50, while Orser is in his 20s. As one of them steps out to assess the surroundings, they stand as distinct companions. Leland emerges from the motel office, and Orser questions the delay. Leland clarifies that an issue with the maid had arisen, but it's been resolved. He then asks Orser to fetch water, as their supply has depleted. While Orser returns to the motel for water, a chilling discovery unravels. Outside, everyone lies lifeless, marked by a bloody handprint on the counter. The motel clerk slumps in a chair, motionless, and the housekeeper rests on the floor in a pool of blood. Just as Orser readies to leave after filling the pitcher, a door swings open, revealing a horrified five-year-old girl. Orser swiftly silences her, adding to the body count. The truth emerges that the two are, in fact, robbers, plundering stores and motels during their journey. The narrative shifts to Tom, a devoted family man who manages a diner in Indiana State. Tom's wife Edie, serves as an attorney, and together they raise their two children, Jack and Sarah. Within the diner, camaraderie reigns as everyone addresses each other by their first names, nurturing a sense of community. Jack, Tom's 16-year-old son, excels in high school baseball. A locker room encounter with a bully named Bobby Singer highlights Jack's ability to diffuse tension with humor. Later, Bobby and a companion catch Jack and his girlfriend, Judy Danvers, smoking a joint. A potential conflict is averted when they narrowly dodge a collision with a pickup truck. Meanwhile, Leland and Orser send an ominous message to Bobby and his friend. Transitioning to Tom closing the diner with two customers, Leland and Orser make their entrance, demanding coffee despite closing hours. Tom, striving to avert conflict, directs his staff to attend to them. As Orser harasses a waitress named Charlotte, Tom senses their intent to rob him and offers cash from the register. Leland draws a gun, escalating tensions. Amid the chaos, Tom seizes an opportunity, splashing hot coffee on Leland's face. Tom gains control of Leland's firearm, firing back when Orser shoots. Orser takes a hit and crashes through a window. Leland inflicts a stab wound on Tom's foot, but Tom manages to shoot Leland, neutralizing the threat. Witnessing Tom's unexpected valor, the diner patrons are left astonished. Tom humbly declines interviews and heads to the hospital, observing his story in the media. Upon his hospital release, the community celebrates Tom as a hero. Back at home, a black sedan raises suspicion, but Tom dismisses it as media presence. The diner thrives, with locals gathering to support him. Edie assists in managing the growing crowds. Three unfamiliar, well-dressed men, including a man named Carl, enter the diner. Carl repeatedly addresses Tom as Joey, sparking confusion. Carl removes his glasses, revealing his scarred face to Tom. He insists that Tom should recognize him now, yet Tom denies any knowledge of Carl or someone named Joey. Carl persists, convinced Tom is linked to Philly. Edie, Tom's wife, grows annoyed at their conversation and urges them to order or leave. The leader hands Tom a $100 bill, declaring their intent to pay. When Edie threatens to call the police, the men depart. With suspicion ignited, Edie contacts the sheriff immediately for an ID check on the men. Meanwhile, as the men drive along a rural road, a patrol car halts them. The seasoned cop, Sheriff Sam Carney, warns them that these men are mob figures tied to organized crime on the East Coast. Sheriff Carney has gathered information from police contacts in Philadelphia and the FBI. However, he hasn't found a criminal record for Joey Cusack, the name they referred to Tom as. Returning home, Sam visits Tom and Edie to discuss the earlier diner incident. Sam reveals that the men are affiliated with an Irish-American crime family rooted in Philadelphia. He inquires if Tom knows any of these men, but Tom denies any involvement, explaining they might have confused him with someone else they've seen in the news. As time passes, the stalkers persistently torment Tom and his family. One day, Tom spots their car headed toward his house. Rushing home, he readies to protect his family with a shotgun, only to find the house empty. The subsequent day, while Edie is shopping, she encounters Carl at a local mall. Carl engages in conversation, insinuating that Tom is concealing his true identity. Edie defends Tom, and Carl alludes to Tom's past as Joey Cusack. He urges Edie to question Tom about Richie Cusack and challenges Tom's proficiency in taking lives. Around the same time, Tom's son Jack confronts Bobby, 
eventually overpowering him after being taunted. Upon Jack's return home, a heated argument ensues between him and Tom. Carl and his associates converge on Tom's house, coercing him to accompany them. Tom defies their demands, and one of the men takes Jack hostage. Carl unveils his knowledge of Tom's genuine identity, asserting that Tom has no alternative but to comply. Tom and Jack ultimately overpower the men, resulting in a tense standoff. During the ensuing altercation, Tom sustains an injury, and Carl stands poised to deliver the final blow. However, before Carl can act, Jack intervenes, eliminating Carl with a shotgun. Tom and Jack share a poignant, emotional moment. Hospitalized due to his gunshot wound, Tom is questioned by Edie about his past. He finally confesses that he was once Joey Cusack, a teenage mob hitman. Encountering Carl prompted his departure from that life, and he embarked on a fresh start as Tom Stahl. Upon returning home, Tom encounters disdain from the townspeople who now regard him with fear. The sheriff visits, inquiring about the shootout. Tom nearly confesses his past, but Edie comes to his defense, and the sheriff departs. Edie's attitude toward Tom undergoes a drastic transformation. A heated argument between them culminates in an intimate embrace, forging a stronger bond. Tom receives a call from Richie, his brother, who threatens him into traveling to Philadelphia. Tom complies and meets Richie, who elucidates the chaos Joey's actions stirred within the mob. Richie suggests that Tom's demise may be necessary to resolve the situation. Subsequently, Tom fends off an attack by Richie's henchmen, ultimately confronting Richie and his bodyguards. In this confrontation, Tom ensures the safety of his family by eliminating the threat. Upon returning home, he reconciles with his family. The story concludes with Tom being welcomed back into his family's life, symbolized by their shared meal. Thank you for watching.